Francis, can we talk about Chris Bosh now? I want you to tell me about Chris Bosh because you're already Chris on Bosch. Chris Bosh, an interesting character, the Bostrich. But there seems to yeah. be something that's going so, on with him. Bring, right. You just you just said bring baseball back. It's hashtag bring, hashtag Bosch, bring back. Bosch back. I'm actually on the side of this argument, but we're going to begin with uh, really what's going on here. So Chris Bosh, if you remember last season, had the blood clot issue, a mm -hmm. very serious, life-threatening, actually, according to the doctors that diagnosed him, uh, issue that started in his lower body and eventually moved up to his lung. And high pace activity like basketball, a physical activity like basketball, only heightens the chances of it getting worse or reoccurring, happening again. Okay, fast forward to the beginning of the season. Bosch is back. He's playing. The Heat look great. They look like they can take down the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference with a healthy Bosch, healthy Wade, young Justice Winslow, young Hassan Whiteside. The core is there, right? And then it happens again. The blood clot issue comes up, and Bosch gets sidelined, right? But now Bosch wants to play. So there's two, two sides of this right now. One, you have multiple doctors who said it is still life-threatening for him to play. And he's also, has, on Bosch's side of this, going to try to find other doctors to get off of blood thinners, right? So here's the case. Off of blood thinners, you raise the chances of a blood clot. On blood thinners, in a bane like basketball, as mentioned by Deadspin, you get popped in the wrong part of your body, and you can have severe internal bleeding. Okay, here's Bosch's statement to, to really kick this off. Uh, I know there have been many questions regarding my health and when I will play again. My situation this year has, has never been life-threatening. I am feeling great, and I currently do not have deep vein thrombosis. Together with the Miami Heat, I am working with doctors exploring the best precautionary treatment options and taking every necessary step to make sure I am healthy for myself, family, and team. Except, Bosch, you're actually wrong. Not one doctor has agreed with you. It is life-threatening. That is an issue. So you got to keep that in mind. I want to continue with Bosch's wife's tweet, which started the hashtag. Bring Bosch back. They're really missing Bosch now. This is last week during the playoffs. Obviously, they can use him. And lastly, the update from the NBA Players Association, who's probably going to be intervening with this shortly. The NBA declined to comment, but the Players Union gave this statement. Our top priority is Chris's health and well-being. We have spoken with Chris and his agent and have reached out to the Heat. We are hopeful that all parties involved can meet as soon as possible to resolve the situation. Bosch wants to play. Francis, should he play? No. Mm. Uh, I, I'm just on the always on the cautious side, right? And the, the main argument I'm not going to make, because <clears throat> there's the argument that no one knows a body like the person who's within that body. That's but I, that's again, that's probably not a good argument considering that doctors know your body better than you know your body. They can tell you what's wrong with you. They can tell you mm -hmm. all the ins and outs that you necessarily don't know. Um, the only stark uh, comparison I wanted to make here is between two separate organizations. The NBA are looking to intervene and make sure that they put Chris Bosch's health first. The NFL, Wes Walker, how many, how many concussions you have? I know, you're fine. The number's 50, mate. You can just keep playing. Like, just keep going until, you, until it really hits you. And by that <laughs> point, when is it fucking too late? It's so, it is a stark comparison. This, for me, I take is encouraging. I take encouraging because the NBA are looking to try and install uh, the, their own I would say message to Chris Bosch to the fact is that we worry about your health. We don't want to just get you out there so that we can continue to sell the tickets and we continue to make money. Whereas in the other side of it, NFL, your beloved sport, is that I feel Roger Goodell, he's got such differing views on certain things that when it comes down to concussions, he is just going to allow the players to make up their own mind. If you feel like you can play, then go out and play. But the doctor's views, the amount of reports that we continuously see with concussions, that teams are withholding concussion reports in order just to make sure that their players still play, doesn't mean shit as long as you're still selling out the, th the stadiums. Yeah, I, I, that's an unbelievably true comparison. Uh, and I think that's a great point you bring up in general because, yes, the NBA is actually looking out for the well-being of their players. Well, the NFL seemingly, on the surface, doesn't give a shit. Uh, so... Another thing that uh, Dan just mentioned, too, is that uh, the Heat would be liable. Of course they would so be. That's, that's obviously a big case if anything drastic were to happen. I feel for Chris Bosh. He's a competitor. He's an athlete. He's a great player. Uh, he's an integral part of two championships with the Miami Heat. He was a great player on the Raptors uh, back in the day. He's also a big personality on that team uh, and well-liked by the entire league. No, really no problems with Chris Bosh. Of course you want to see him back on the court. Of course, from Chris Bosch's angle, my team's in the playoffs. I can't stand sitting here watching them play if I feel like I can play. But the problem is if a doctor's, not just doc, doctors, multiple are saying, 
you could die playing the game. You got to draw the line. The only other example, because this is very, we've had two stories this week where we've like we've never seen it before, and we don't know if we're going to see it again. Yeah. You know, we're talking about like the foul calls during the you know, Mono Ginobili and Dion Waiters. We've never seen that before. We've never seen Luis Suarez bite somebody, causing. But you adapt. Ca- yeah, but yeah. you adapt. We only have seen, unfortunately, Magic Johnson have to retire from the NBA because of HIV. But it wasn't even a question. It wasn't, no, no, we'll get you treatment. You can get back on the court. It was, you have a life-threatening illness. Yeah. You have to get treatment. We can't, A, we can't be liable for anything that happens, and B, really, it's A, we want you to be healthy and safe, and B, we can't be liable for what happens. Yeah, the- uh, Chris Bosh, just to kind of show you a little piece of why I've always felt, Francis always felt, most of us here have always felt that he's been such a great brand for basketball, ambassador to it, is he's got this big personality with this gangly, weird body. He's a seven-footer who takes threes and even likes to play jokes on himself by doing a really, really bad but great infomercial to get voted into the All-Star game back in 2008. We'll throw that video in there for you. Attention, attention, attention. This is Chris Bosh here, and I'm offering you Boxing Day special, post-Christmas special, a New Year special. Why don't you bring a 2008 year in right? Come on and vote for me. Uh, let us know, by the way, bring Bosch back or make Bosch assistant coach of the Miami Heat. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag make Bosch assistant coach. Doesn't have the good ring to it, but. You are more than welcome to come coach the Knicks, Chris Bosch. I'm waiting. <laughs> come hang out. You just want to take anyone? Teach like, the, guys, the, guys even coached, the guys that you coached yet, and he's just like, I'll take him. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll over, take him. Over Kurt Rhombus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let us know what you think. Comment section below. As always, TYT Sports, hit that box right there and you can subscribe. It goes a long way. Mm-hmm. We are closing in on 300,000 subscribers. We are trying to get there. And with your help, we can. Jason Rubin 91 Twitter, he is closing in on 25 Twitter followers. And with your help, he can reach it. Francis underscore Maxwell. Uh, Francis Maxwell host on Instagram, Jason Rubin 91 on that. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure.